Children who are obese or overweight will go on to have poorer health and will find it hard to be a healthy weight as adults. It's a real problem for us in Coventry as we have more obese or overweight children than other parts of the country. There are significant differences across the city. Our ambition is to match the England best. This will require between 180 to 430 fewer five-year-olds who are obese or overweight. To match the England best, Coventry would need 250 to 540 fewer 11-year-olds who are obese or overweight. Children and families will be supported to make informed choices about their lifestyles. One Body One Life has been running uh, for seven years. It's a community-based project, it's a healthy lifestyles programme. Um, it's aimed at families. We generally run a 10-week programme, but this being the summer holidays, we condense it to a five-week programme. Um, it's split 45 minutes nutrition and lifestyle and looking at behaviours, and then 45 minutes doing physical activity altogether. And it's open to all members of the family, so anyone can come along. Uh, families can self-refer in, and then we also have health professionals um, referring in. So that would be GPs, uh, school nurses, health visitors, health trainers. So a whole range of people refer in, and different agencies refer in to our team. Its aim is to make people look at their lifestyles and, and motivate them to change a bit, to encourage them to be more physically active, to do that as a family uh, and to do it in a fun way. So we're just about motivating people to get back into doing physical activity. Uh, I'm a health and physical activity leader um, in the Be Active, Be Healthy team. Um, so generally what I try and get them doing is um, we try and get them to just get moving really and have fun in a safe way. So that's my role. On the One Body, One Life programme, um, we have loads and loads of different games we play, so we try and keep it fun because it's aimed at young families. So today we were playing lots of ball games and um, things like kick cricket and round, kick rounders and, and just things that everyone can get involved in and yeah, get everyone running around moving to not kids. I've been involved in the One Body One Life programme for five weeks now. Uh, I was originally referred to the programme by my GP. Uh, I've enjoyed it tremendously. Uh, I had the option to bring my family along as well, which uh, I did, and all three of us have had a wonderful time. As parents, our hope for our child is that he grows up to become very healthy, conscientious of what a good diet consists of, and takes regular exercise. I really enjoyed the activities, and now I know about the balanced diet, and uh, like uh, we should have carbohydrates, protein, and uh, vegetables. Uh, I didn't know about these things, so now I know. <laughs> the useful thing about this program is that having, having somebody there explaining this to you and being with other families, it gets the message through and you, you are inspired to actually follow the advice that we're given. Not only am I losing weight, but you, there are visible signs that I am losing that weight uh, and feeling much more confident as a result. It is important children do well at primary school and leave with really good reading, writing and math skills. In Coventry, our primary age children aren't doing as well as the rest of the country on average. But it is getting better with time. Looking across Coventry, we can see big differences. Nationally, Poorer children don't do as well at primary school as children from higher income families and this is the case in Coventry, although it's no worse than we see in the rest of the country. Our ambition is to match the best in England and this will require 410 more children reaching level 4 or above in reading, writing and maths at Key Stage 2. For children from poorer families, our ambition is to match the best in England and this will require 130 children reaching this level. We will do this by giving extra help to those who need it. When I grow up, I want to be a singer or a YouTuber because I want to inspire people who they want to be and not to be afraid and show the world that you can be who you want to be. When I'm older, I would like to be a teacher. This is because I would like to make a change to children's lives and make them proper citizens of the world. I would like to work in a secondary school. When I'm an adult, I would like to be 
a singer, a gymnast, a teacher and the Prime Minister <laughs> this is because um, these are jobs that inspire people to be whatever they want to be and not let um, other people change who they are.